Hey, what's up guys? Psycho Fanboy here, back with another video. And I just got back from vacation recently, but I just haven't had the time to make the video. And obviously this video is going to be about my anime expo experience and what I got. So yeah, well I was this was my first AX 20 this uh 2013 and I met up with a uh, fellow YouTubers Baldwin Wayne and Donkey Blonkey. It was a fun, fun ex expo. Kind of overwhelming at first. I believe they had like, correct me if I'm wrong, 160,000 attendees this year. And it was a lot of fun. And I definitely plan on going back next year. So let's get started on what I got. First, let's start off with the posters. Two free posters. So this one is actually pretty decent. So I'm going to keep this one. Axel World with a uh, Silver Crow and Black Lotus or Kuro Yukihime. It's back to back. There you go. I'm going to probably display it like this. So yeah. And another one. Project K poster. I believe they're making a season 2. I believe so, I think. So yeah, kind of excited about that too. This one was also free. Okay. I'm gonna try to keep this as steady as possible because I'm filming with one hand and just using the other one to like show you the stuff. So and this we have Mirai bag from Culture Japan. You got this for free if you buy something. So pretty nice bag. Nice souvenir. Okay. Also got to meet Daniel Chu for the first time. Really cool guy, Pr really humble, and I also attended Culture Japan Night with a uh, Donkey Blanky or Kevin in Little Tokyo. So that was pretty fun. Yeah. And next up we have two Moikana cards that you get for free for buying stuff there. I bought two posters, so I got two free cards. Yep. There we go. And next, we have a Mirai poster in bathing suit. There you go. And there's the uh, autograph by Danny Chu. Okay. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I'm gonna frame this on my wall. Pretty nice. And then another one we have another Mirai Suinaga in her school uniform. Also signed by Danny Chu. Okay. And then I got an art print from the artist Ellie. I don't actually know where this is from, but I thought it looked cool, so I bought it. I think it was like ten dollars. It's pretty big too, so it wasn't a bad price for this size. Okay. And next up, okay. Uh, let me just turn around here. Another poster, a guilty crown poster, signed by the voice actress of Inori and the voice actor of Shu, Alexis Tipton, and the other guy, I don't know who he is, so I don't care. <laughs> I just care about Alexis Tipton. Yeah. I'm gonna be framing this as well. I'm gonna be framing the posters, the art prints, and yeah. There you go. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And next up we have, oh yeah. The main reason why I was excited to be at AX was because of Huke, the creator and character designer of Black Rock Shooter. And I got two autographs from him, luckily. So when I was there, I got my art book signed. This came from the uh, Black Rock Shooter Beast Figma. And this is his signature, simple signature. The second thing that I got signed was 
the art book that came from the uh, White Rock Shooter Figma. There it is. So, pretty cool. I don't know how much this, these things are worth now since they're signed by the actual creator. So yeah, probably a lot now. But I don't, I don't plan on selling them, so too bad. Next up, I also got some Hukei related artworks. This one's um, Black Rock Shooter. Let me just flip it. So yeah. Pretty cool. They were selling it at the uh, Good Smile Company booth for like, I believe $10. It's not that big, but it's still nice. Some pretty nice artwork by Huke. And another artwork by Huke. This one is Steins Gate with Kurisu up front. There you go. And let me just flip through this one as well. Oh, come on, open up. Pretty nice, pretty nice. They were selling three art, art books at the Good Smile booth for uh, the Huke autograph session, and I got all three. So, yeah. And this is the last one, the biggest one. I believe this is Black Rock Shooter as well, I think from the game, I think. So yeah, pretty cool. There's her with a the guitar. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think this is from the game because that's her from the game right there. That's what she looks like from the game. So, black gold saw. So yeah, that's it. And, I'm gonna start doing my videos wearing this one. Ta-da! Attack on Titan. Colossal Titan mask. I've been looking for this. I missed out on the uh, pre-order at Amiami. So when I saw this at the exhibit hall, I decided to uh, jump on it. Pretty expensive though. I believe when this came out, it was like 50 something from Amiami. But they were selling this for like 75 but I managed to haggle it down to 70 I think. But then there's tax, so it still came out pretty expensive. I'm going to be cosplaying as the Colossal Titan for ASIN 2014 and maybe Anime Expo 2014. So yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Now for the figures start with this Hatsune Miku brown frame version got this from the Good Smile booth for $100 no tax no fees $100 so pretty cool I've been wanting to get this too even though I already have the uh, Hatsune Miku DX version I still really like this one it looks really like beautiful and shit yeah there you go <laughs> can't wait to display this one and unbox it next up we have Kuroneko in her uh, white lolita outfit or Shironeko I guess or no Kamineko Kamineko yeah there you go I got this from uh, ABC Toys for me I think this was 120 and I managed to like bargain for it for 106. Yeah, Baldwin tried to haggle this one too, but he couldn't get it. Ha, but he got free sandwich and a Coke. <laughs> so, yeah. I think this is one of the uh, better looking Kuro Nekos out there. Her expression is really nice. Can't wait to unbox this as well. Next up, we have Type Moon 
Android Petite Collection. Got this from the Good Smile booth as well for sixty dollars. Basically, each each tiny petite was five dollars. So got this for sixty, and it comes in there's twelve of them with one extra extra petite. So yeah, Type Moon Android Petite Collection. And of course, just like everyone else at AX, I got the exclusives. The Madoka, <clears throat> what's this? Myco version. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay. This was $40, I believe. So, not a bad price for an Android, I guess. Okay. Next up we have Hatsune Miku. What version is this? Yukata version, Natsu Subaki. Okay. I actually preferred the other Yukata version, but this one is nice as well. I'm gonna get that one soon. Pre order it sometime. Or order it sometime, not pre order. So yeah. I can't wait to display this and Madoka and Snow Miku all wearing yukatas so can't wait to display them together that's it for figures and next up I have a really big well scroll of I'll show you there it is Madoka Magica wall scroll got this for fifty dollars I believe which is not bad for this size really good quality too it's not your typical like cloth type of wall scroll it feels like a I don't know how to describe it like the material is really nice the artwork is really nice too so there is Madoka, there is Homura there's Kyoko then there's Sayaka and Mami and of course there's Kyubei that little bitch so yeah <clears throat> that's it for my loot guys it's not as big as Baldwin's but you know or I think me and Donkey Blanky got about the same amount or spent about the same amount so yeah so if you like what you saw, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you very much.